I've been trying really hard to not prostitute, you know, which is really hard because you always want money, you always want nice things, you always want to be pretty and beautiful. Wow. This is such a nice day. I feel so good about life right now. Have a good day. Uh-huh. I like that skirt. <laughs> I just want to become a model and just do, you know, the things that I feel comfortable doing in my life. You know what I'm saying? And just try to, you know, write this book. It's not a good way to go about life, you know what I'm saying, being a prostitute. You see, like, I'm into certain kind of men, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, these guys here, they're not on my level, really. I got out of house arrest, and uh, I got out of Patty's house, <laughs> and I moved into a place of my own, and uh, work's been going real good, and I've been going out and doing some socializing. I was driving down the highway, and I looked at my cell phone, and I seen his number was there. I called it back and he answered the phone and immediately I pulled over to a parking lot <laughs> of, the, of a store and we sat there and we talked for like two hours until the battery and phone went dead. It was just great. It was just great. And then we start emailing each other back and forth and before you know it, he would come around and see me. God, without him, I felt like there was so much of me missing. It's just like, you know, I'm not missing that part of me anymore. I went back to prison for stealing copper wire. I wasn't on my medication, so I was really getting into the suicidal thoughts. I intentionally got myself arrested and sent back to prison so I could get back on my medication. I did nine months, and here I am. I got this body. I'm six foot three. I weigh 230 pounds. I look like a guy. You know, no matter how much pain I put on, I still look like a guy. I got this deep voice. Yeah, you can change it. Yeah. Excuse me. No matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I fantasize about it, it's, it's not going to happen. If I was to do cosmetic surgery, you know, narrow my chin, my nose, and cheeks, and all this other stuff, I'm, I'm 50 years of age, you know. I don't know how long, much longer I'm going to be on this planet. No. So I just figured, you know, I'll deal with what I, what I was given. I don't know. I'd rather be me. Just be me and let you know who the hell I am. I'm a girl working a man's job in a male environment. I'm going back to the old fields. I'm going to work as a roughneck. I've, I've fought too damn hard to get to this point in life, and I refuse to take a step back. Oh, it's so much I want to do. I fantasize about my release date. Just, oh, God. 
I can't wait to put on my pre-wear clothes, female clothes, and of course, and get my hair done and get my nails done and do all the things I used to do before I got incarcerated. I can't wait to get my life back, basically. For the future, I hope to uh, meet me a wonderful man that's going to make me happy and give me the American dream, if that really exists. <laughs> and I know this is stuff that every, every girl wants, but I want something at least close to it. You know, I'm going to be realistic. I don't think there's such thing as an American dream, but I want to be as close to happy as possible. I take my life seriously and my life as a transsexual seriously. And I want to be a, a full-fledged woman of the United States of America when it's all said and done.